year around this time, blood supplies are low, but this year blood supplies are really low. And who better tell us how important giving blood at this time is Sue Thu of Vitalant. Good morning, Sue. How are you? I'm great, Brad. How are you? I'm Thank you. Doing good. Now, we're social distancing here, which is so important, but you're wearing your mask especially to remind people about how diligent you guys at Vitalant are about being safe with taking blood and, of course, platelets and everything, especially right now. We are in not just the COVID-19 pandemic, but we're in the flu season. And we're also in a season of where the blood supplies are so low because one, people, holiday time, they're rushing around doing stuff, they forget about giving blood. Um, or again, they're kind of worried about going, but Vitalant say no, please come give, especially at this time. Absolutely. You know, from the get-go at the beginning of COVID-19, we've, you know, been a designated as an essential activity. It, it poses a much greater health risk for to not have an ample blood supply, especially this time of year when donations drop by, you know, 25 to 50 percent, depending upon, you know, how close we are to a holiday. Yeah. And, and one thing I like is that when you talk with Vitalant, they actually walk you through the process of getting your blood drawn, also about the safety that you guys are taking because again, you wanna make sure that blood is you know, ready for those who need it. So people have said, well, we can't take it because we're in this pandemic or I can't do it because of this and everything, but that's not true, am I right? You're absolutely right. You know, before people even enter a blood drive, their temperature is taken. We uh, ask people all the right questions to make sure that they're not demonstrating any kind of symptoms of COVID-19. The beds are socially distanced. Our staff are all masked and gloved, as are the, the donors uh, in the room with uh, the other donors are a minimum of six feet apart and, and everybody wearing masks. But it's entirely safe to donate blood. Yeah, and if we see the video going right now, I want to show here are some of the, you know, people who are benefiting from this and, and this video is so important for everybody to watch and see because again this is who you're helping it's not just adults and everyone thinks okay adults need blood but it's the kids you know at the children's hospital it's at the you know different hospitals and stuff that are so important Absolutely, like little Adeline, she's five years old and she had her 76th blood transfusion just two days ago. And she has to have blood transfusions every three weeks because her body can't make her own red blood cells. And uh, it's so important for kids like Adeline to have an ample blood supply. And we're excited because this afternoon, Adeline is gonna get to share lunch with some first responders and get to ride on the fire truck. It just kind of our way of, of letting her know that everybody's there for her, uh, but we need the blood donors to be there for her too. Yeah, also what's happening is uh, this weekend, you're gonna, gonna be in Prescott, which again is one of the areas that needs to have blood. Um, and what are you guys doing up there? Well, we have Prescott's largest community blood drive coming up this uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, it's from noon to 5 p.m. at Prescott Gateway Mall. We're gonna be uh, in a suite right next to Claire's. It's suite 244 at the mall from noon to five each day. And we're looking for about 100 donors to come out and help us in Prescott's largest community blood drive. In appreciation for donating, the Streets of New York is offering every donor a voucher for a free pizza. And I have to say, you know, Streets of New York is even bigger in the Phoenix area. So give blood any time in December with Streets of New York or with Vitalin, and you will receive that Streets of New York uh, pizza thank you gift. I love it. Okay, do we need to make, uh, of course, a uh, reservation to get the blood, uh, to give blood on uh, this weekend at Prescott? Well, we accept walk-in space permitting, but I have to say that we really prefer it that people make appointments. That way we don't have anybody standing around. That time is reserved for, for you and just you. And uh, we have limited people in the blood drive at any given time. So simply go to vitalent.org and then enter sponsor code gateway. And uh, that will direct you directly to that blood drive. But at vitalent.org, you can find all of Vitalent's blood drives across Arizona and just put in your city or zip code and you can find a location near you. We are testing every single blood donation for COVID-19 antibodies, so it's also a great way to find out your antibody status and uh, on whether or not you might be a potential donor for, uh, to give convalescent plasma for gravely ill COVID-19 patients. Perfect. Sue, so thank you for coming in. Again, uh, people, please, if you're up in the Prescott area, sign up, make an appointment. Again, this is a very important time to give blood, and, and I love that you have some of your donors who have given and then realizing that they need it down the line, which is, is really nice that they actually have helped out that way. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Brad. All Merry right. Christmas. Merry Christmas to you.